हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर शर्मिला गंगाड़े फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ बायोटेक्नोलॉजी वेलकम टू माय सेशन ऑफ रिसर्च मेथडोलॉजी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी अबाउट रिसर्च प्लान सो स्टूडेंट इन द प्रीवियस सेशंस वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट द रिसर्च प्रॉब्लम how to define the research problem necessity of defining the research problem and what are the techniques involved in the research problem after doing that the next and foremost step which is come up in the research process is nothing but the research plan so while uh, doing the research plan the most extensive step we have to take is the first step in the research process is nothing but the developing a research plan how to develop the research plan as such so after identifying and defining the research problem researcher must arrange his ideas in order and write them in the form of experimental plan and that is plan is described to be a research plan basically when we are going to see anything which is going to be plan out we can see success in it that is the reason why research plan is basically done in order to get the foremost step for the research process so whenever you are going to do any kind of a research you have to have the blueprint of the process which is going to be followed or adopted by the researcher that is the reason why after defining and identifying the research problem this is the very first step that every researcher has to be followed and that is called as research plan so what is the important thing we need to know in this that is research plan is essentially and specially for what this is the most important question the researcher may have so research plan is basically helps researcher to organize his ideas it will be possible for him to look after the flaws and inadequacies if any so that is the reason why before proceeding for the research process it is necessary that we have to go on through the research plan it provides an inventory approach student that is what is to be done what materials has to be uh, adopted or what techniques to be adopted this is a very preliminary step in which which material has to be taken for the research work could be decided by means of the research plan it is a document but this document can be given to others for the comment it mean that how we are going to discuss the about the research plan as such so research plan must contain the following items so what are the items it would be the first and foremost step of the research plan should include the research objective what do you mean by objective objective is nothing but the things which are you are going to do for your research work as such so research objectives are goals and that should be clearly stated in line or two which tells exactly what researcher expected to do and that's why that are called as a research objective so research plan firstly explains or contains the research objective second thing which is important and that has to be uh, inculcated or has to be documented in the research plan is the problem which is to be studied by the researcher it should be stated in a well manner that that contain all the information which is to be obtained for solving the problem because once you define the problem you must know that how to solve it so for the how to solve it will given you by that kind of information which you are going to list out so this is the thing that which is very important to be considered by the researcher and it would be incorporated in the research plan each major concept which researcher want to take or want to major uh, should be defined in the operational terms and it should be listed in the research plan the plan should contain the methods and techniques this is very important term student because unless and until you adopt any method you adopt any technique to solve your problem it will not get solved so in science and technology we can tell it as a experimental methods so the plan should contain the methods to be solved methods to be used for solving the problem also there are some techniques which is to be adopted so for instance if you can uh, say that if we are going to proceed for the survey based method or survey based research as such so whenever you want to do the survey based research it is necessary that we have to take some interviews from the respondent so that is the reason why this method which you have adopted is interview method so once you are clear with that you can able to have the plan about which kind of interview has to be taken 
to whom you are going to interview so these are the things this uh, small things you can able to chalk out when you have a research plan so for instances if interview method is to be used an account of the nature of the complicated interview procedure should be given so that is the reason why once you know that which kind of methods has to be used you can prepare before for that methods and that is the reason why the plan should be chalk out first before proceeding for the next research process the plan must also contain methods to be used which are incorporated in processing the data students many a times in the science and technology we use statistical and other methods which has to be used or indicated in the plan so that is the reason why whenever we should have the research plan you must know that the data which has been collected that data is going to be processed by which means and most probable method where we are going to use the data is the statistical method of uh, method which is to be used for processing the data so statistical method or bio statistical method we can used for processing the data and last but not least that is result of pilot test many a time researcher proceed with the preliminary uh, survey or preliminary research preliminary test which is called as a pilot test so result of pilot test if they are necessary you can be reported or incorporate in your research plan definitely it will help you lot for making out the sense out of it how this research work has to be processed further so the time cost budget for the research project should be also prepared and laid down in the plan itself because when you are going to proceed with this eight steps of planning the research work you automatically get that what is the time required what is the cost and budget for that research project and how it should be uh, prepared or one should be prepared for itself that could be make in the research plan so these are the advantages of making the research plan and definitely it will be helpful for the researcher to processed for his research work further so as per as the research process is concerned student the next and the foremost process which is come that is types of data and data collection method now as we have started the videos we have gone through that how the research problem has been defined what is research problem how to select the research problem how to define the research problem how to formulate the research problem after formulation of research problem how to make the research plan after planning the research student in a plan only you can come to know that which kind of data is required for your research work so when it is been clear to everyone that what is the data which is to, to be collected because collection of data it is pertaining to the your objectives or it is pertaining to the what research work you have selected or what research problem you have selected so that is the reason why the types of data and data collection method is the another task through which the researcher has to go so the types of data and data collection method are here will be considered as a important term while, while doing the research so basically when we are going to consider the task of a data collection it becomes uh, it begins after a research problem which has been defined as i already told you uh, because unless and until we know that what is a research problem we cannot chalk out that which kind of data is required for doing that or for solving that research problem so while deciding about the methods to be used for data collection you must know researcher must know that there are two types of data and it is a very important term in the research process so there are two types of data students primary data and secondary data what is primary data and what is secondary data primary data as the name itself indicate that the primary data are those which are collected afresh and the very first time and thus happen to be original in character okay so the primary data is strictly collected by the researcher himself or herself because it is a first experience first uh, time the researcher is basically looking to that particular object or it is collecting that data therefore primary data is strictly collected by the researcher or observer and this is original in character uh, 
uh, then speaking about the secondary data the secondary data on the other hand these are those which are already been collected by someone else and which is already been passed through the statistical process so secondary data student it is already been published it is already available in the world secondary data is that data which we can able to search on the google because that is a secondary data in the google everything has been published in in case of a website or in case of a journal or anything so that is the reason why the secondary data on the other hand that is that data which is already been collected by someone else and which have already been passed through the statistical process so types of data whenever we are going to see this primary data must be collected during the course of doing experiment in experimental research but in case of when we do the research of the descriptive type or performs a survey whether it is a sample survey or it is census survey or then we can obtain the primary data either through the observation or through the communication it it depends on the objective of the research problem or objective of your research work so whenever you are going to take up that primary data it must be collected through the different course of actions so depending upon your problem you can decide how to take the primary data okay so this that's all for this session thank you